Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chung here. So let's let's talk about this week's weekly contest, number 1,648, sell diminishing valued colored balls. All right. So I, this is a interesting. I would say it's a math, more like a math problem. Okay. So you have an inventory of different colored balls, and there is a, like a customer that wants other balls of any color. Okay. And this customer. There are like a bunch of descriptions here, right? Basically, you know, the customer weirdly values the colored boss. Each colored boss values the number of boss that that color you currently have in your inventory. So which means that if you currently have six six yellow boss, okay, and then and then the first time you sell, you sell the the first yellow ball, you you get six you get six values. And then the second time you get five, and then four, five, three, three, four, five, three, two, one, until you, you until you sell everything. Okay, and then you're given like an integer of arrays, and this inventory, which uh, where the inventory i represents the number of the boss, okay, uh, of this color, of the ice color, and you're also given like an integer orders. So the orders is basically the total the total number of boss the customer wants to order. And you can sell the balls in any order, and it, it asks you to return the maximum total value that you can obtain after selling the orders. Since the, the color, the answer may be too large, return it, return the modular of this one. So a few examples here, right? So for first one, let's say you you have two. You have two uh, color one balls, and you have you have five color two balls, and in total you need to sell. In total, you need to uh, you need to sell four balls in total. So as you guys can see here, so the first time you you sell five, right? You sell five, four, and three until you reach. So after selling five, four, three, right? After selling three balls, now the two the two colors are uh, have are having the same same number of, same number of of balls, right? Which are both two. That's why the last thing you sell, you can either sell uh the the color one or color two color two so that's why in total you have 14 14 boss okay and then here here's a, like a tricky examples here as you guys can see here you have a huge number of the the others and only one numbers only one color boss here that's why you, you i mean you still have the answer here right so Cool. So, and here you have like this uh, a constraints here, right? So for this problem, you know, so what's gonna be the 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 naive or brutal force uh, brutal force uh, approach, right? Of course, it's by using the priority queue, right? Basically, every time, uh, basically we push we push all the the number of the boss into the priority queue, and every time. When we are like decreasing the others here, right? We also uh, we pick the the highest the highest number of the of the current colors, right? And then we decrease the number by by one, and then we push it back to the priority queue, and then we uh, we just uh, collect that value, the cut that that highest value to the final answer, right? That will be the the naive and brutal force way, and as you as you guys can see, that will definitely TLE because the uh, because the the inventory or the order or the orders is has the limits can be up up uh, up to ten to the power of nine. So if you are just uh, simply using the priority queue and try to decrease the orders one at a time, you will definitely TLE. Okay. So we need to find a like a more efficient way of of decreasing or of selling the boss. So what's gonna be the the high the the I mean. A more efficient way. So basically, you know, I'll give you guys a few examples here. Let's say we have a, mm, say we have a, a ten, and then we have a, we have eight, we have six, and blah blah blah. Okay. So in total, let's say that in total we have the boss of. We want to sell twenties, twenty in, in total. So the way it works is that first we sort 
the, the number of the inventories from, from the biggest to the smallest. And every time we're comparing, we're comparing the current one with the next one. If the current one is greater than the next one, then we know, okay, we can sell, we basically we can make uh, three, sa three sales, like 10, nine, sorry, we can make two sales, basically from 10, uh, the, the first time we, we can sell, uh, we can sell, uh, sell the numbers of 10, right? We can sell, we can make the sell from 10 to, to nine and then from nine to eight. So why we only, we can only make two, two sales because after the two sales, right? We'll have two colors, which, uh, who is having the, the same numbers, which means we have eight here, eight, eight, right? So, I mean, after two sales, if we want to continue to make the sales, we have to do the factor of two, right? So we have to do a, the factor of, of two. A factor is now is equal to two because at ne the next time when we sell the, uh, make another sale, right? Let's say we have 20, right? So af after two sales, the others here, right? We have others here. Uh, We'll talk about how can we collect the uh, how can we collect the uh, the values uh, by selling the bots. I'm I'm only talking about the uh, the others here. So the first time we have a uh, we make two two sales right, and then the others will become to eighteen, right? So now the factors become to two because like as you guys can see we have we have two eight here. So now from eight to six we we can we can uh, again make two sales. But this time we have to do a two times two, two times this, uh, this factor here, which means after two sales again, uh, basically we'll be selling four bots in, in total, right? That's two plus two. So that's why after this two here, we have like uh, 18 will becomes to 14, right? So let's say we, uh, we have a two, we have four here, okay? So after, after another uh, two times two sales, now both of this eight becomes two to six, right? So which means we have we have three six here, right? Which means every time we have like a different one, we uh, we see the different numbers. We now the factor equals to three, right? So when the factor is three, it means that from six to four again we can make two sales, and every time we can sell we we can sell two times two times f three boss. Right, which means uh, it's gonna be uh, gonna be become to eight. Right, so we keep selling that until we have reached the uh, uh, basically, you know, as long as we can we can make the like you can think of our as a wholesale as long as we can say we can sell everything uh, that the, the current factor represents, we, we we can just use the same logic, right, and then in the end. When we reach a, a point that we cannot uh, sell everything, we have to do a little bit di a different. For example, here, let's say we have a, let's say uh, we have 20, let's say we have 20, 20 others left, okay? And all we have is what? Let's say we only, now, the only boss we have is, is 3, 8. Let's say we have 3, 8 here. It means that we have, three colors uh, that uh, which every uh, each one has uh, like eight balls left right so at this point how can we and there's nothing else left so how can we make the uh, sell th this uh, this three balls here as you guys can see so what we do we do a 12 divided by three so what does this mean it means that we can we can sell three balls all together uh six times right so six times and and then after six times we cannot sell three uh, all three bots here which means we have like how many bots left we have 20 uh do a modular by three we have two so which means that the remaining two we can only sell two right so what does it means that you know from eight from eight uh, 
to make three uh, to make six wholesales. What what does it mean? It means that we'll sell eight plus seven plus six plus five plus four plus three. You know what? Actually, I'll I'll write everything here. You know, plus zero. So after making uh, six wholesales, where are we now? We are at we are at three here. That's the one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Basically, that's the uh, that's the the that's the values we can collect by making uh, six three six wholesales. So basically, we collect this eight to three, and then we of course will will uh, multiply by three in the end. And how about this two here, right? After three after six uh, six wholesales, uh, this this eight will become two, two, two. And now we just need to make another two, uh, two the, the last remaining two others, which means that we'll have like this two times two, because we will be uh, out of this three twos here, we'll make another, we'll, we'll make uh, the, the last two sales. That's why we have this two times two in the end. All right, so that's the basic idea of how can we uh, approach to the final answers. And as, as you guys can see, the another crucial uh, uh, part for this algorithm is how can we calculate from eight, the, the sum from eight to three, right? And so how can we calculate that? Because, you know, so obviously, no. I think everyone knows how can we calculate from from eight to one, right? So, so what's the what's the the formula for that, right? That's the n times n plus one divided by two, right? And how, but but how can we calculate from eight to three, right? It's pretty straightforward, right? I mean, and if we have the if if we have everything from eight to one, and then all we need to do is we just uh, subtract that two to one, and then we have eight to three, right? So which means that, you know, from n times n plus one here, right? What do we, we, sim we can simply do this. We, we sorry, we, we subtract the what? The, the k, let's say this is k, right? k, k times k k plus one. Let's say the k is equal to two, right? So that's the basically the formula we will we'll be needing to calculate eight to three, right? Cool. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So with that being said, I think we can. We can start our coding. Okay. All right. Cool. You know, since we'll be using that uh, that uh, get summary, get some formula multiple times, I'm going to uh, extract it into a into a separate functions here. You know, that so which will make this code uh, more much more readable. So I will have a start and end. Okay. So here, you know, I simply return the start times uh, start plus one, and then divided by two minus end times uh, end n plus one divided by by two. Okay, so by start and by start and end, I mean this, right? So we have a eight, eight, seven, six, five, four. To one, I mean by start and end, I mean I'm trying to get the sum from let's say from eight to six. So from eight to six, then the the start is eight and the end is five. So end end is five. This is the end. This is start. So keep in mind, I'm the end is not six. Okay, it, it's five. All right. So okay, now we have this get sum functions here. The so, so let's try to sort this uh, this inventory first. You know, since this this uh, variable is kind of long, I'll, I'll rename it to inventory to 
to INV here. So I'll do INV dot sort. Okay. And since I'm going to sort it from the uh, from the a, a descent in a descending order, I'll do a reverse equals to true. Okay. And then the factor, right? The factor at the beginning is one. So the factor means that you know how many uh, colors, right? How many colors have the same amount, right? And since we're sorting from the uh, the biggest to the smallest, and the factor will always be increasing, right? And okay, we have n equals the length of i n v, and then we have uh, what? Uh, we have i here, so the i will be the the I will be the, the inventory where uh, we are currently uh, at right now. And then we have an answer. The final answer will be equal to zero. So the way I'm, I'm doing the, the loop here is uh, I'm doing this others here, right? So while the others is greater than zero, okay? So when the others is equal to zero, and then we know that's when we need to return our our answer, okay? So the answer will be, uh, I'll finish the answer here, you know? So when you guys are like at, at the interview, or like any uh, or any te testing, or any exam, you know, I think it's always a good habit to uh, to finish the uh, the main logic parts, like this like this mod equals to the ten to the power of nine plus seven, and then in the end you do this, you know, and then you implement the details, because otherwise, you know, while if the if your the detail implementation is pretty complicated and then you'll be forget you, you'll be forgetting what you want you want to do in the end right so okay so now we have these things here and okay like like i said right so first thing first the the most uh the easiest uh, the easiest uh, scenario is that we can make the the wholesale with is a current factor which means that we can simply subtract that 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 uh, that difference from the others, and uh, if the i is smaller than n minus one, so I do this check because I will be uh, checking this one because I'm I'm like I said I'm checking if the current one is is greater than the inventory of the i plus one. I only do this uh, decrease when when the uh, when the current one is greater than the than the, than, the, than the next one, because if they are the same, I'll just keep increase. I'll keep moving the eyes forward, um, also while increasing the factors here. Okay, so here, like the uh, if we can make sale for all factor boss, right? For all f factor, okay, right. So I'll I'll try to finish this one later. So else if right, else if what? Else if if we can not make sale for all fac factor, right? Here we have also we have another if here, right? I mean, I'll see if uh, if the right, if that's the case, right? What do we do? We simply do that. We simply do I I. Uh, plus one, and then we do a factor. Plus plus one. That's the that's the last step, right? Because you know, if the current one and the, and the next one is the same, we don't do anything. We simply uh, we we'll simply just uh, uh, increase the 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 in the pointer, and then we also increase the factor, right? Because we are we have we're accumulating one more uh, colors who is having the same amount. So now the first one, right? If we if we can make the the wholesale for all the other for all the factors, right? 
So it means that first thing is that it's always the uh, if the current one is greater than the than the next the next one and what and this right let's see and the what the others right is greater equal greater than what than the factor times what the inventory i minus inventory i plus one right so here i mean of course since we're going to check the i plus one that's how that's why i do i i, I do this check here and the second one is the uh, if the time the the va the count is different and we can make the wholesale we can sell we can make the wholesale for for the difference for all this factor right and then we do we, what we do we simply do answer right we simply accumulate this answer with the the current factor times times this times the let's say from eight to six right so now so now the inventory i is eight and the inventory i plus one is five in this case so what's going to be the the values we can collect from eight to five right so from eight to five we have what? We have get some inventory i and then inventory i plus one. Okay. All right. So that's how we calculate the the values we can collect from selling this boss from eight to five by selling the number of these factors, right? So that's why we have eight, seven, six. And after this, after this sales, the others becomes to what? Becomes a factor times times the difference, right? Times this one. All right, cool. So that's the this is the, the the easy case, which means we can sell, we can make the sale for the for the di for the difference for all the factors. And the second one is a little bit uh, complicated one, which means that. We can make the sale, but we cannot sell everything. Just remember I, when I said we have 20, 20 boss, 20 orders left, and then we have a three eight left. So in this case, we can only make six wholesales, and the, the remaining two will be uh, calculated later. So in this case, we have, and what do we have here? Again, right? Again, it ha has to be like this. We also need need to check this, but and then but you know we also need to check. Okay, so we can do this. If i is in the n minus one or this, okay. So just just the, for this case, right? Let's say we have a three eight left here. So whenever i is the same as n minus, it has, re has reached the end of this array here, we also need to do the calculation. Or again, or the, uh, what is the inventory i is greater than inventory i plus one. Okay, same thing. So, but at this time, we cannot make the, the sale for the, for the whole factor here, right? So that's why we have to use what? We have to, uh, I'm going to calculate sale all times here. So how how can we calculate that? We use this remaining orders and then we do a we do a div division by by the uh, by the factor, right? That's the numbers we we can sell first. Okay, we do this factor do a, like the the double slash divide divide division here, so we can get like an integer here. And so for this one, that's the how that's that's the the number of times we can sell, right? For for the for the whole factor here. So and now let's calculate, collect the values we can will get by doing that. So again, we have a factor, right? And then what? We have a get sum, right? Again, we start from this inventory i, right? And what's going to be the the end the ending point for this for this time? 
it's going to be the inventory i divided um sorry minus sell all times so why is that right I, for example here so we have six here right so we can sell so now s sell all six so which means that we can s sell eight seven six five four three two one we sell six times that's why the end the ending point is two in this case which is the the invent inventory i eight minus six is two okay so that's that okay so how about so the next thing is going to be the remaining the remaining others right so what's going to what's the remaining others uh it's just the others uh do a modular by the uh, by the, by the factor which in this case is, is two right so 20 divide uh do a modular by six is two which means we have we still have two others we need to we need to sell so now with those two others right it's pretty uh, obvious that the it's going to be the remaining others times what times the uh times this right times this one because that's the uh the numbers we'll be having here we'll, we'll be left here so we have a uh, three we have three twos left that's why we're going to be uh uh multiplied by two here okay so once this is done, don't don't forget to set these others to zero because uh, by the, by this time, you know everything is zero. Or we can simply do a break. You know, let's do a, let's do a break because we have sell, we have sold everything. So, yep, cool. So let's try to run the code here. I think that should be everything. All right, run the code. Mm. Hmm. Did I make any mistake here? Let's say, let's see. Hmm. Uh, oh, here, I think. I'm missing a like minus a sign here. Okay, run code. All right, so this time accept it. Submit. All right, cool. So it's accepted. So that's the uh, that's the uh, basically the logic here, and uh, for the time space and time complexity, right? As you guys can see here, we have a, we have sort here. That's why we have an log in here, right? And here, uh, here will be uh, will it, this one is bounded. It's bounded with the number of, of the i here because every time we'll be increasing the i's here. And by the time we we have reached the end, the others will be zero or, uh, by by the by that time. So that's why here we have an n here, you know. And in total, the the time complexity is the uh, the n log n. It's just uh, this sorting here. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll stop here. I think that's that's it for this problem. You know, it, this one is a, I think for me it's more like a, a math problem because math plus greedy. You know, as long as you guys can um, can figure out how to calculate the range sum, you know, and also the uh, how can you how can you like use this factor to to de de to determine like the uh, how to uh, do a a full a wholesale or how can you do a partial sale and then do the remaining you know this one is more like a implementation implementation heavy problem plus some a little bit of math okay i hope you guys like this video all right thank you so much for for watching this video guys stay tuned uh see you guys soon bye bye